go. That was awesome. I was watching them from the pond. You can see the boat. I saw them I was fishing with my pink rooster tail. And I saw one of them. They ran right past me. And then he came back up because I remember moving the coin and I sneaked my way back over here. And then one came over here. Another one came from over there. I saw that he was looking straight at me. But they went that way. You can see all the way back behind there. All the way back over there. That's where I saw them come out from. my beanie, black beanie on, you can see, and I was just sitting here with one of my ears open, trying to see if I could hear it, but, I don't know, super cool, I'm just laying down, this one area over here, just laying down back here, back behind both of these, that we walk right past up here, I saw an opening, I also come back over here, and I saw this. I'm like, oh yeah, let's do that. Sorry y'all might not have gotten too much good footage, but it's hard, I don't want to spook them. That's really interesting how much wildlife is out here. And that deer was in person, too. Super close. Like, maybe less than 30 feet. Maybe, like, because you can see from the building over here and then right. Okay, so the building's right here. And my fort's, like, right there. And from that building, it's for 30 feet. Because I measured it. And I think from where I'm sitting, it's, like, 15 Super, super close. Y'all might not think it's very close, but from where I'm sitting, it's pretty darn close. But I'm trying to decide in my brain if I should stop recording and then wait until he starts shooting. Because, or I'll continue. I'm going to finish my sentence. I'm going to continue or I'm going to go back and get dad's camera and make sure I'm not down here and then I'm going to try and see or I'm going to try and walk around the piece of land no I'm not walking past the piece of land I don't want to do that with dad's camera dad has a really nice Nikon camera it zooms all the way up to a hundred times so I could be right here and I could zoom in all the way past all these trees and then boom, I got a picture of a deer. But I got my nice camo jacket on. You can see it matches pretty well. It's like, let me see if smart. But you can see it's, it's pretty well blended in. I have my hood on and everything. Oh man, this be so good. I have all the batteries, dead batteries charged. And I'd just be sitting here. Because the fish aren't buying anymore. He looked around, and then he looked back at me. That's my fault because of my phone case. It's like, it has Connor on it with a bass. I had to look at it. Um, but it has, one, it has it on there, so it's kind of hard to do that. But if I do go inside, I'm going to upload this video up to our channel and you'll see it soon after all three of the rest of them which is um first fish of the day or I think is one of them is the name of it but look at this cardinal oh there it goes i think i would do is i would come and sit right there 
and then I would zoom up to there, and I think that might get him a better picture. Cause like the camera's right there, so it would probably get a picture of me looking straight at it and it running. Cause I didn't even know they were down here. Um, when I was fishing up there by the belt by the pond, I didn't even hear them, and I got spooked by them. But I'm gonna tell you back what I was saying earlier. They went that direction over there. And when they went over there, they ran back that way and turned. And I saw them over here run back around. So I think they're long gone. But I kind of want to, like, turn on the camera and just sit out here. Because it's a black camera, so they wouldn't be able to spot me. But if I stay completely still, especially if I can find one of Dad's tripods... I can stay completely still and hook it up on my knee. If it depends on depends what type of position I'm gonna be in. And my boots are really nice and have the jacket on. And maybe bring a snack. That'd be really, really nice. But one way how you know that there's deer coming is especially what's good with this year, and that's also deer season, but we're not shooting deer. Oh dear, what's that? that I don't know. back what I was saying again is that whenever you it's one thing that's good about this season that's one of the reasons why they have deer hunting season in fall or not really fall it's more like winter because the deer are more out and it's sunny and the birds are out and especially when it's sunny as well and it's really good because the leaves are on the ground. So if you're staking out, like a stake out, which is what I've always wanted to do before, which I did once. I was playing airsoft with my buddies. Well, old buddies. Um, and we were just hiding and playing airsoft in an airsoft park. I, don't, I can't remember what the name was, but I got a gun from them. Um, but whatever, I, I heard them come over here, over here up to the deer feeder, and you could hear their footsteps. Because they're very loud when their foot, when their feet are getting in the ground. But I think I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna stop this video. And goodbye, Carnage Curiosity fans.